Hi everyone and welcome back to this uh, new video here at uh, Castle Tumbergen in Bruges. I've been asked for a long time to make a video about my uh, ancestors who lived here at the castle. I would like to thank my heritage, which is the sponsor of this video. So my heritage is the number one service if you want to find more about your uh, ancestors and if you want to uh, build your family tree. It's uh, super easy to compose your own family tree. Uh, for example, in a few hours, I had more than thousand people in my own family tree. But I have to admit, I have a big family. But even if your uh, family is a little bit smaller, you can still find uh, family members and ancestors and compose your uh, own family tree and learn more about your ancestors. So by clicking in the link in the description, MyHeritage offers a 14-day uh, trial. And if you continue after the trial period, you get 50% uh, off. So just click on the link uh, in the description and start building your own family tree. So I started by entering my parents' and grandparents' names. And from there, uh, MyHeritage searches uh, into all the records they have. And very quickly, I had uh, five full generations on uh, my father and mother's side complete. As you can see, I still have a lot of records that matches my family tree that I have to go through. So if I click on one, just for the example, I can review the record and then maybe there is new information that I don't have in my family tree yet. So here, for example, I have uh, information about the wedding. So the left column is uh, what's currently in my family tree. And the right column is uh, new information from a record that matches uh, my ancestor. So, super easy. And then I just save it to my family tree. So it's almost like a game. How many people and how far back in time uh, can you go looking at your uh, ancestors? So just try it out for yourself. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. So now back to the castle. So our castle has been uh, handed down from generation to generation. Let's see how far back in history we can go. So the castle still belongs to my mother, who got it from her father, who got it from his mother. And so their names were um, Marguerite and Ernest. Um, very easy. I can just show you a painting of them. Christmas tree is still standing. And then here we have Ernest and Marguerite. So after that, Ernest and Marguerite got the castle from their parents, uh, Paul and Irma. I had already added a picture of Irma that I found on, a, on an article that talks about her dress. Um, apparently, Irma had a reputation for always being well-dressed with beautiful dresses um, with a very unique lace. And some pieces of this lace can be found in several museums in Brussels, Amsterdam, Ghent, and even in the Art Institute of uh, Chicago. If you're from Chicago uh, and you want to send me a picture of the lace of Irma, um, contact me and uh, I will give you more information. So this picture of Irma was already a colored picture, but imagine if you had an old uh, black and white picture of one of your ancestors. This, for example, is uh, one of my wife's ancestor. In 1895, he traveled from Antwerp to New York by boat, and he ended up being a cowboy in Montana for a few years. So I have this black and white picture of Edmund. This was his name. I will import the picture into my heritage and from the website, I can uh, enhance and colorize the picture. Uh, if I take another picture, um, so for example, this picture, it's a portrait of my seventh generation ancestor. Um, I can colorize and even animate the picture. On the original picture, Charles looked very serious. Let's try the animate tool. Can we have a little smile, please? Paul and Irma, also very easy. They are here in the library. Uh, Paul and Irma. So we ended up at Paul, who got the castle from his father, Anselm. Anselm got the castle from his father, Charles de Cruze, who got this from his father, Charles Henné. Um, and the painting of Charles Henné is also in the library. Uh, above the, the fireplace. 
So Charlene welcomed Napoleon in Bruges when he was mayor of Bruges in uh, 1803. And in memory of his meeting uh, with Napoleon, he had a big painting made, which is um, in the city hall of Bruges. Let me show you. I will show you the painting of uh, Charles de Couze in the city hall. Today the current mayor of Bruges is uh, giving his little New Year speech and then we can have a beer on the main square. Caroline is on the tandem, Victor is on his own bike and Maxime is in the cargo bike. So from Charlene, we go back another four generations to uh, Jeanne de Marivourde, who got the castle from her uncle, Nicolas Despars, who died in uh, 1597. From Nicolas, we go back another four generations to Jacques Despars, who bought the castle in 1487. So if you count between the purchase of uh, the castle by Jacques Despars in 1487 and uh, myself now, there are 18 uninterrupted generations at Tembergen without the castle being sold. <laughs> 